The U.S. House of Representatives has approved a two-year budget deal and debt compromise between President Donald Trump and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The bill increases spending for military and domestic programs and suspends the debt ceiling through mid-2021. It would also prevent another government shutdown. The legislation now heads to the Senate, where lawmakers are expected to vote on it next week. Now let's turn to some of the other big stories people are talking about tonight. Columbine High School will not be torn down and rebuilt. The school district discussed the idea to help curb a record number of people who have tried to illegally enter that school. In 1999, 12 students and a teacher were shot and killed at Columbine High School. Last year, 2,400 people tried to visit that property, but the district says they surveyed nearly 7,000 residents there. More than half did not want the school to be torn down. Disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein found injured on the floor of his New York jail cell this morning. He's currently awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. Epstein had bruising on his neck. We don't know whether those bruises were self-inflicted or perhaps from an assault. Epstein was treated and remains in custody. The 66-year-old allegedly paid girls as young as 14 to have sex with them between 2002 and 2005. After nearly two weeks of furious protests, Puerto Rico's governor has announced that he is resigning. Ricardo Rosseo will step down on August 2nd. Demonstrations were sparked by a leak of crude and offensive messages between Rosseo and his top advisors. Even before that, he faced allegations of corruption. After news of his resignation broke, large crowds filled the streets in celebration. Do you want to go to an event that the whole family can enjoy? Well, check this out. Kids will enjoy this superhero pajama party. The San Antonio Museum of Art is hosting a marathon of Superman cartoons from 1941 on Friday from 5 to 9 p.m. There will be food, drinks, and cool activities. Tickets start at $12, but you will want to hurry because seating is limited. Next up this weekend, you can also paint rocks with the entire family. It may sound odd, but painting rocks seems to be the new trend. Bring your family out to the Rainbow Gardens Bandera on Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. to this free rock painting and hiding event. The rocks can have paintings of a special design, image, or a message. Just be sure to take a selfie with your rock and post with the hashtag Rainbow Gardens Rocks. And finally, you can enjoy some live music from some Texas native musicians. The festival will feature artists like John Wolf, Signal, and Rick Trevino. The event will be at John T. Floor's Country Store in Helotus, and tickets start at $25. For more on all these events, just head to ksat.com. For The Nine, I'm Erica Hernandez. Katie Blake is back with us tonight, and I'm thinking there's something to my description of fall, summer-like days. Fallish, summer, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Is that confusing? No, I think that part, that just about sums it up. <laughs> we should be a little confused. It's July and it's just been so pleasant. Uh, you know, we we're just not used to that. No, not at all. And I wish I would could say it's going to stick around through the weekend. But the weekend is about the time we're going to start to see some changes uh, roll back in and we'll start to see the humidity crank back up. A free weekend picks forecast if you want to go out and do some rock painting, which to me actually sounds pretty fun. Uh, out at the Rainbow Gardens on Bandera Road Saturday morning, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be climbing into the low 80s. It's not going to be incredibly muggy by Saturday morning, but by Sunday, that'll be a different story. So tomorrow, another nice day mornings in the the 60s, 93 in the afternoon, but this weekend you'll start to notice the humidity a bit more. I do think we'll have some morning clouds on Sunday giving way to partly cloudy skies in the afternoon and we will have a low chance of an isolated afternoon shower or storm as we head into the weekend as well. So our flow uh, since we had that cool front come through on Tuesday, uh, we've had a nice east northeasterly component to our wind the past couple of days and that's what has helped to bring in uh, some drier air. But as we get into the weekend, surface high pressure moves a bit further to the southeast. That's going to allow for a southeast wind to return moisture return off the Gulf of Mexico and that's why we are going to see our dew point temperatures um, climb back up during the course of the weekend and by Sunday really starting to feel pretty muggy again. So enjoy tomorrow another comfortable morning temperatures in the 60s 93 in the afternoon and then chances of some spotty afternoon showers and storms as we head into the weekend and really next week with that flow off the Gulf of Mexico hanging around we can't rule out some afternoon coastal showers uh, through the course of next work week. Myra. 
All right, thanks, Katie. It is Thursday night, which means it's time for another throwback Thursday here on the news at nine. This is the series where we take a look back at the people and the places and events that have all helped shape San Antonio's history. Tonight, we're talking about a world famous store right here in downtown San Antonio. Paris Hatters has been making and selling hats on Broadway for decades. RJ Marquez tells us about the famous customers that have stopped by the store and how its history is on display right when you walk in. Countless rows of cowboy hats, fedoras, and pictures on the wall, Paris Hatters has stories to tell. It opened in 1917 near the Joskies building as a used clothing store. Abe Cortez and his wife Myrna are third generation owners of Paris Hatters. When the store first opened, it was run by Abe's father and uncle. They go to the to farms and uh, uh, they sell the clothes 50 cents for the shirts and all that. Paris Hatters moved to its current home on Broadway in the early 1960s. It was around that time that the hat business began to decline as hats fell out of style among influential people such as President John F. Kennedy. More than a dozen local hat stores and companies closed, but Paris Hatters survived. And the western hat business boomed again in the 80s during the urban cowboy era. Paris Hatters became a destination for celebrities such as Tommy Lee Jones, musicians like Bob Dylan, heads of state, and religious figures. We were fortunate enough to do the Pope in the 80s, Pope John Paul II. Johnny Cash came in many times. They love that we feel old and we smell you know, like leather here, and uh, so this is part of the attraction. Part of the attraction includes the iconic cash register, which was bought more than a century ago and still works today. So yeah, this is the traditional banking register. It's been with us all these years, and people love it. The store has a variety of hats that cater to every customer. Paris Hatters is one of two stores to carry the 1000X, which comes with its own leather tooled suitcase. We have had people who fly in for the day to come and buy that hat. If we carry the, the, from the very cheapest to the most expensive hat. Creating the perfect hat look is an art that has been perfected for decades by Paris Hatters and will continue into the future. I sold my first hat when I was 11 years old, so it's kind of in my blood. We are um, a staple uh, in San Antonio. We're a very unique business uh, that reflects the culture of Texas. Let's go to KSAT.com tonight to find out what is trending with Ivan Herrera. Myra, thank you for having me. All right, three great trending stories for you today. The first one is about the annual Spurs Sneaker Jam. It's happening September 15th. And so speak, uh, it's, it's in its third year. So Sneaker Jam, what it is, it's highlighting some of the latest trends in sneakers. Yeah. That's from local vendors and sneaker designers from all over. So This is pretty, yeah, cool. pretty cool. All actually. right, third, uh, third year, and third I have to year. say, I'm not really familiar with yeah. it. So anybody can go so and any, just... Yes, um, there is an admission price, um, but there's gonna be giveaways, raffle prizes, photo ops with Spurs memorabilia, and an unnamed Spurs player is supposed to show up. We don't know who it is yet, but okay. there's more info on pricing and everything on KSAT.com. Okay, so if you are into sneakers and want to stay on top of the latest trends. Definitely want to go for that. This is yes. for you. <laughs> All right, so this next one is for Texas teachers. So listen up if you're a Texas teacher. Um, before the summer is over, of course, um, Texas educators will get free admission to Legoland Discovery Center San Antonio for the entire month of August. That's really cool. cool, yeah. Yeah, and if you're bringing your family along, which you probably oh. will, um, for each standard admission, you get $5 off for up to six people. So family, friends, whoever you want to bring up okay, to six people, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so the discount doesn't end just for teachers. Yeah, So themselves. and so Legoland has 10 Lego theme attractions. It has a 4D cinema. It even has like a test center where you can play with Legos. It's really cool. I have not been yet, and yes. I know that it's going to be popular in Definitely my house at some out. point. So. Yes. I will make it there one day. Yes. So teachers will need to bring their ID or their pay stuff for the discount, and we have more info on that on KSET.com. Okay, All right. cool. So this last one is something to do before the summer is over, like I just said for the last one. So Mustang Island State Park just reopened its campground. So the area had been ravaged because of Hurricane Harvey. That yes. was two years ago. Yeah. But now they're open again, and everybody can go and enjoy those campgrounds on Mustang Island, which is great. Um, they did have some plumbing issues. They got them worked out, and we have all that info on KSA.com. This is so great. Yeah. It's such a popular attraction from anybody across yes, South Texas. I, I so I'm happy go. to see that yeah. it's back open, up and running yes. for people to enjoy. Definitely. And all right. that's all I have for you today. Thank okay. you for having me. Thanks, Ivan. We'll be right back. My name is Elizabeth, and one day I, I woke up and I wasn't feeling good. My throat was hurting, and I felt really sick. 
My mommy took me to the children's hospital, and they took really good care of me. The doctors were really nice, and they made me feel better. Elizabeth's health and well-being were everything to us. At the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, we promise the best medical care and treatment for all of our children. We do everything for our children. I am Tracy Claypack. Jeff and I have been farming for about 38 years. The boys came in to farm with us in 06, and Capital Farm Credit was able to work with us and help us expand our business. My husband and boys are farming land that they have farmed for the last four generations. Capital Farm Credit has been there for us, not only just with the lending and helping us grow, they actually know what farmers need. Our future plans are to continue working with Capital Farm Credit and make our future better. When we build a pipeline, safety is our top priority. Our highly skilled engineers, environmental scientists, wildlife biologists, and geologists design our pipelines to follow the safest routes with the smallest environmental footprint possible. We use state-of-the-art technology and testing protocols, so we know our pipelines will operate safely for decades. America relies on energy. We get it to you safely. We are Energy Transfer Partners. Stories you can't miss in Tense Radio. Three minutes to nine at nine. The most interesting stories making headlines around the world, around the country, and here at home. Give us three minutes. The nine at nine, only on KSAT News at nine. At this time of night, the news at nine usually ends here, but not tonight. We still have a lot ahead for you in this special hour long edition of the news at nine. After the break, we're taking a look at some of the exclusive series that we air right here on the nine on a daily basis. Plus, my six o'clock co-anchor Steve Spreester joins me for some spree thoughts to kick off heavy metal madness coming up next. The Gamis Law Firm provides our clients more positive results. I'm so blessed to have come to this law firm. They helped me in my time of need. Had a great experience after a horrible accident. They made everything easy. I'm so happy with this law firm. They always answered my calls and questions. The staff is so nice. Very pleased with the services and outcome of our case. I highly recommend the Joe Gamis Law Firm. Thank you, Gamis Law Firm. Call today for your free consultation. 736-4040. Almost time for me to go. Well, what if I... Drove me home? What if we lost track of time? What if we took a leap of faith? <laughs> what if you... Missed my flight next week? The all-new RAV4. Toyota. Let's go places. Attention homeowners, if your AC system is over five years old, please stand by for a very important message. Are you uncomfortable in your home? Do you have high utility bills? Have you had costly AC repairs? It's because your system hasn't been professionally maintained. Call John Wayne for the ultimate AC tune-up. We'll clean the outdoor coil, flush the drain line, check refrigerant levels, and include the first pound of Freon, a $400 value, all for only $149. Get our ultimate AC tune-up, and I guarantee your system won't fail this summer. Call John Wayne today at 293-6700. You wouldn't spend $5 for this apple when you could buy this one for 45 cents. So when it's time to replace your windows at your home, don't spend more for the same exact thing. Right now, get eight white double-hung windows for $31.95 installed with a lifetime warranty. But don't wait. This is a limited time promotion. And don't forget to check out our great reviews online. Let the Window Source of San Antonio help you save money. Call us today, 210-549-4204. The Window Source of San Antonio. From dental implants to full mouth reconstruction, San Antonio's Dr. Alfonso Menares has performed thousands of life-changing procedures. If you're struggling with the ability to smile, there's hope for you. Schedule a complimentary consultation with Dr. Menares today, 210-610-5479, or visit ImplantSanAntonio.com. At Stone Ridge, our heart is in your smile. watching KSAT News at 9, streaming live from right here in the KSAT 12 newsroom. I'm Myra Arthur. By now, you've had a chance to get a feel for the news at 9, and that feel is different from our other newscasts. 
What can you expect from KSAT News at 9? The latest information in a bit more informal way. We talk about the biggest issues facing our community, how they affect you and what comes next. And we cover topics that affect all of us, not just one side of town. Figure out how much you can pay per month and how long it will take you to pay off the balance. How to get the most out of your money? Check out our series called Money It's Personal. Adulting hacks? We've got those too. This is the series where we take on topics we all need to know about but might be too embarrassed to admit we need some help with. How can you look at your tires and tell if they're bad or good? The easiest trick you can do is a penny trick. If you see the top of Abraham Lincoln's head, then your tire tread is too low. And then there's the nine at nine. Nine of the biggest stories and the most incredible video making news from around the world to right here at home. A massive fire at a Jim Beam warehouse overnight. An ordering mix up leaves a Georgia woman with a marijuana cake instead of a Moana cake. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured this image of a cosmic fireworks show that's been going on for centuries. We got up to 94, a degree shy of average. And we can't forget the weather. We wouldn't leave you high and dry there. A little weather humor, get it? We make sure that you are ready for the day ahead. It looks like we're going to have some potentially really heavy rain settling in. We also take you behind the scenes with our reporters in our breakdown booth. That's where they tell you the story behind the big story, the stuff you didn't get to see on camera. KSAT News at 9. You can feel the difference. Tonight, we're also showing you some of the story series that we feature exclusively here on the News at 9. We'll start with one of the ways that we cover big stories in politics. Things like the fight over the citizenship question on the 2020 census, the abortion debate, or the escalating tensions between the U.S. and Iran. Of course, we cover a lot of those topics in our regular KSAT newscasts, but on the News at 9, we get the chance to explore these issues a little bit more in depth. Every week, we talk to a different reporter from the Washington Post about the big political story that's making headlines. They give us a deeper perspective on the issues, help us understand how we got to where we are today and what comes next. Tonight, we're talking about the 2020 presidential race. We are now just five days away from the second Democratic debate. Just like the first go round, 20 candidates will take the stage over the course of two nights, July 30th and July 31st. Washington Post political reporter Eugene Scott joins us now to talk about what we can expect. After the, the first debate, do you think there were any candidates that really uh, had great performances and, and might get a lot of the, the focus and attention in the second round? Well, certainly, uh, Senator Kamala Harris, we uh, saw that the first debate was her breakout moment, and we saw a bump in her standing in the polls after that, um, in uh, several polls. And so uh, people have been paying attention to her since then that perhaps had not given her much uh, attention before the debate. And so uh, the expectation that she will maintain uh, that lead and interest uh, now going into the second debate, I believe is high for quite a few Americans. How about on the other side of that coin? Are there any candidates that really uh, just kind of faltered, underperformed, that need to make up for some lost ground in these second debates? Uh, well, we certainly saw uh, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, uh, someone who many on the left have been expecting to be more competitive during this uh, campaign, but certainly has not been. Are there any head-to-head -head matchups that you expect to see, perhaps candidates targeting uh, another candidate really trying to make that um, competition more personal? I think all eyes should be on uh, the competition between Senator Cory Booker and former Vice President Joe Biden. And I had the opportunity to write about that for the Washington Post. We've seen even a week before uh, the, deb the debate, uh, Booker is coming for uh, Biden uh, repeatedly, uh, attacking his record on issues related to civil rights. Um, and I think that's in part because we know that Booker is not polling as well with voters, including black voters, as uh, he perhaps expected himself to. And with Biden in the lead uh, overall and uh, with black voters, I think Booker is hoping for his own uh, Kamala Harris moment. How about topics? What topics are we expecting these candidates to address? Uh, well, certainly income inequality. I mean, the economy is something that uh, voters tend to care about. Uh, regardless of the election. Uh, Health care, making sure it's affordable, uh, expanding it to groups that historically perhaps have not had as much access to health care. And criminal justice reform, uh, that's something that we've seen people am among the base of the Democratic Party, especially uh, people of color and millennials, uh, suggest that they want the next leader of the party to prioritize. 
you know, I think something that a lot of people, a lot of their attention is drawn to, just the number of candidates that we have on the Democratic side. How is this field going to be whittled down uh, over time as we make our way uh, towards the primaries? It'll probably be whittled down the same way most uh, fields are whittled down in terms of donors uh, backing away from candidates. Donors not seeing that the candidate they perhaps have supported is uh, viable and therefore giving their money elsewhere, putting their money elsewhere, should I say, um, and uh, just uh, not just getting a lot of support when polls are uh, conducted. We'll see some of these uh, teams uh, do a bit of a reflection and introspection and say perhaps we should uh, step away and focus our attention elsewhere. All right, for now, there are 20 that will be making their way to the stage over two nights, the 30th and 31st. Eugene Scott with The Washington Post, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me. We have talked to political experts from The Washington Post about a wide range of topics, from the Trump administration's effort to lower health care costs to the future of disinformation. You can go back and watch any of our past conversations right now on our website. Just go to ksat.com slash news at nine. Also here on the nine from the curious mind of my six o'clock co-anchor Steve Spreester comes a segment that we like to call Spree Thoughts. If you have ever tuned into the news at nine on a Friday night, you're probably familiar with Spree Thoughts. Steve is here on a Thursday though to be part of this hour long special. Happy to be here, Myra. Happy to have you. <laughs> all right, now some of the topics we touch on are fun. Some of them are serious and hopefully in all of them we learn something. We've looked into everything from flooding in the Midwest to where's the beef, the countries that are the biggest meat importers and exporters. We've also looked into the science of hair. Somebody asked about mine and San Antonio's love for heavy metal. It's a toss up between the science of hair and the love for metal, but that one has to be my favorite. I know that, <laughs> that you like the heavy metal. We actually got a huge response from that one. We looked into how San Antonio is a heavy metal Mecca. So why was the River City Rock Fest postponed this year? It's supposed to be in September. Was it really a lack of heavy metal acts available? Here's a little bit of that spree thoughts. How can this be happening? When it comes to music, San Antonio has a reputation, a heavy metal mecca. This is where thrash lives, a hard rock haven. So the idea of a rock fest in town getting canceled sounds like someone's on the crazy train. Ozzy reference. But Yes, San Antonio is suffering from canceled metal. Instead of come on, feel the noise, quiet riot reference, this September <laughs> there will be no River City Rock Fest at the AT&T Center. Sanford Nolan is my heavy metal mentor. He is the editor in chief of the San Antonio Current. There just haven't been as many of those, they call them in the industry, they call them legacy acts, which are these rock bands that have been around 20, 30, 40 years uh, that can still put that many people in the seats. But it's still sad to see a rock fest that's had bands like Guns N' Roses, The Scorpions, and Nine Inch Nails in years past not happening this year. It could be why Jamie's crying. Van Halen reference. And it comes down to there not being radio and not being other conduits that sort of get that stuff to people. So what did I learn, Myra? I learned that heavy metal seems to be at a crossroads. Hopefully not a highway to hell. ACDC reference. All we can do is wait for the winds of change. Scorpions reference. Because even though it's struggling other places, here there's an audience. Because it's as true today as it was in the 70s and 80s. San Antonio rocks. I mean, can we get an applause for that? <laughs> All right, I did not wear the leather jacket, obviously. <laughs> so what I learned out of that segment just reconfirmed my thoughts on San Antonio's musical taste. There are a lot of people who like it heavy. So we wanted to know who's San Antonio's favorite heavy metal act. And just like March Madness for basketball, this is the bracket for heavy metal madness on ksat.com. Every week, we're going to vote on another round. Our top four seeds. Number one, Black Sabbath. Number two, Led Zeppelin. Number three, Metallica and number four, ACDC. And yes, there are some groups out here you probably wonder about. Aerosmith is on here more for the toys in the attic than the <laughs> dude looks like a lady genre, but they are still in here. So every week we're going to have another round of voting until we get to San Antonio's favorite heavy metal act. And I know I may not look like a metalhead, 
but I do have feelings. I'm not an Iron Man, <laughs> Black Sabbath reference. By the way, I would also like to say I am glad that Myra, your dress looks very nice. I'm glad you're back in black, ACDC reference. <laughs> and for those about to vote, we salute you. Kind of an ACDC reference. See, we told you the news at nine was different. <laughs> we, we delivered on that promise. So anybody can go to our website and vote on this. Yes, and I'm sure Katie will. You know, Katie, um, your favorite group, Budgie, is right there, just mm -hmm. in case you wondered. Yeah. Legs diamond over here in corn. She, so, she's yeah. about to cast her vote. All right, good. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You bet. For those thoughts, as always. A lot of thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the portion of the show where we figure out how to follow up spree thoughts. Sometimes there's no transition. It's just. You just gotta. It just happens. What yeah. uh, crazy train? Keep the train rolling, yeah. right? <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne reference. <laughs> Good. Okay. Good. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So let's talk the forecast. Yes. It's been fantastic, but we know that's not going to last. No, it's not going to last. It's uh, going to be pretty quiet uh, as we head into the next couple of days. Uh, humidity has been on the lower side, but it'll start to creep back up uh, as we head into as we head into the weekend. The great part about the news at nine. There are many great parts. I don't know if I can top that. But one thing that Sarah Spivey and I like to do here, uh, since we're the meteorologists most of the time, uh, this gives us a chance to go to a different level with the weather and explain things that we don't necessarily have time to on some of our other newscasts. And we've done a few explainers through the course of the news at nine so far. And I actually want to give you an example of some questions we answer, things like, what are cold fronts? What is El Nino? Sarah Spivey even broke down the Edwards Aquifer, our local water source, and explained how it works. And we're going to show you that right now. Our aquifer is amazing. And every day on KSAT, we give you a no, reading okay. of the aquifer that is actually at the J17 well of the aquifer. It looks something like this. I'm sure you've seen it on KSAT. The aquifer itself is the largest source of groundwater and freshwater here across San Antonio from areas from Austin all the way down to San Antonio and out across the hill country. But what exactly is the aquifer? Well, it's a system of underground limestone called karst, which is porous and looks like this, and the water fills up uh, those stones and we're really able to tap into it for the fresh water. It's made of three zones, the contributing zone, which is in the hill country, the recharge okay. zone where that okay. karst opens up in the ground like Government Canyon. And then finally, we've got the artesian zone, which is like us here in San Antonio, where we tap into that groundwater, whether by freshwater springs or by wells itself. So in a typical rain event, let's say it's raining over the contributing zone in the hill country, that'll travel downstream into to the recharge zone where it enters the aquifer and then finally down into the artesian zone where we tap into it by digging into the J17 well. All of that pressure rises up in the water there and we're able to get fresh water from that well itself. So that's a quick and simple way on how the aquifer works. There is still a lot more ahead in this special hour-long edition of KSAT News at 9, including a look at the consumer series we feature every week here that helps break down some complicated financial topics. Plus, it was impossible to miss the news about former special counsel Robert Mueller's congressional testimony. Tonight, we're fact-checking some of the claims about those hearings. That's after the break. Homeowners, are you tired of low water pressure, being scalded in the shower when someone flushes, or had expensive leaks in your pipes? I'm Jeff Butler, owner of Repipe Specialists. We eliminate all these problems by repiping your home with Nupex pipes. We repipe most homes in just one or two days, plus we'll patch your walls and give you a lifetime guarantee. We've completed over 30,000 repipes and can help you too. Call us today for a free estimate to get great water pressure and no more leaks. When you're in Port Aransas, how you experience the island life is up to you. You can soak it in, reel them in, go off-road, or go off-land completely. No wonder Port A was just named one of America's best family beaches for 2019. Come stay a week and experience the island life. Go to visitportaransas.com to plan your summer getaway. Courage. Integrity. Justice. These values are Texas heritage, 
Javier Villarreal and Alexander Begum have been defending the people of Texas with honor at every one of life's turns. If you've been hurt, you need the Texas Law Guns to defend you and your loved ones. Voted Best Personal Injury Lawyers in San Antonio, Javier Villarreal and Alexander Begum are the Texas Law Guns. Defenders of the people, fighting for justice. Just because you see a story trending online doesn't mean it's factual. That's why every week here on the News at 9, we bring you a roundup from the Associated Press of popular but completely untrue stories and images. We normally do this fact check every Friday, but tonight we're changing things up. Let's take a look at our first claim of the night, having to do with one of this week's biggest stories, former special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony during back-to-back -back congressional hearings. President Donald Trump claims that Mueller has exonerated him. He said to letter from his 2020 campaign asking, quote, how many times do I have to be exonerated before they stop, end quote. But the president hasn't been exonerated by Mueller. When asked during one of yesterday's hearings whether he had cleared the president of criminal wrongdoing in the investigation into Russian election interference, Mueller said no. In his report, Mueller's team declined to make a prosecutorial judgment. Here's another claim tonight. Former Vice President and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden claims that Mueller said there was enough evidence to bring charges against the president after he leaves office. That's not true. Mueller did not draw conclusions about whether he collected enough evidence to charge the president with a crime. He merely said that if prosecutors wanted to charge the president once he's out of office, they would be able to because obstacles standing in the way of indicting a sitting president wouldn't be there. And one more claim to fact check tonight. A Republican United States congressman from Louisiana told Mueller that millions of Americans are concerned about his work in part because of the bias of members of his investigating team. That congressman claimed the investigating team included 14 Democrats and no Republicans. But here are the facts. Mueller himself is a Republican. And while some members of his investigative team have given money to Democratic candidates over the years, Mueller could not have barred them from serving because of that. It's no secret that talking about finances can be boring, but it's an important topic we all need to know about. That's why here on the News at 9, we try to make it a little bit more fun with our consumer series, Money, It's Personal. Take, for instance, cryptocurrency. Bitcoin and Ethereum are some of the well-known and established cryptocurrencies. But how exactly does this digital money work? And can you use it in physical stores? Web producer Ivan Herrera breaks it down for us. No physical coins or bills. That's the point of cryptocurrency. It's a digital currency that allows users to buy items and invest online. Bitcoin, Ether, and Litecoin are just some of the well-known cryptocurrencies, but new ones are continuously appearing on the online market. You can buy cryptocurrency by purchasing it with a credit card or through a process called mining, which is a way of earning cryptocurrency without putting any actual money down. The currency is then stored in a digital wallet, either online, on your computer, or on other hardware. But this type of digital currency isn't like your traditional U.S. dollar. The Federal Trade Commission says cryptocurrencies are not insured by the U.S. government like your deposits at the bank. That means if your digital wallet is hacked or the company providing it goes out of business, you may be out of luck. Cryptocurrency value can change by the hour, which means if you invested thousands today, it could be worth hundreds or even less the next day. And there's no guarantee the value of the currency will go up again. The FTC says while cryptocurrency transactions are anonymous, they may be posted on a public ledger such as a blockchain. A blockchain is basically just a public list that shows when someone transacts with cryptocurrency. The blockchain may include information such as the sender and recipient's digital wallet addresses and the transaction amount, which could be used to identify the people using the cryptocurrency. The Federal Trade Commission and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission are warning consumers about possible crypto trading scams. So it's best to research any company you're thinking of purchasing from first to make sure you're making the right decision. For The Nine, Ivan Herrera. 
We all have gaps in our knowledge, things we should know how to do, but might need some help with and are too afraid to ask. It's the reason we started our adulting hacks series to help figure some of these things out, whether it's figuring out a car maintenance issue or trying to put together a checklist for selling a home or even just trying to pick out a good wine for a dinner party. Tonight we're talking about a big question. Should you buy a home or rent? RJ Marquez spoke with an advice director with USAA and he has some tips for us tonight. It is time for another adulting hacks here on the news at nine. We're here with Michael Van Cleve, USAA advice director. And Michael, we're going to be talking about buying a home versus renting a home. A lot of people have questions about this. When it comes to buying versus renting, there's some different things you want to think about, right? Generally, it can be renting can offer more flexibility, uh, which may be good depending on your situation, but buying may offer more long-term benefits. Okay. When you're looking at which one is best for you, there's a couple things you need to take into consideration. One, are you financially prepared um, to buy a home? There's gonna be closing costs. You may need to have a down payment for the home, which is gonna be a lot more typically than a deposit right. to, to rent an apartment. Have you looked at your budget? And, and when you do that, can you afford not only the principal and interest payment on the home, but also taxes and insurance and maintenance? Also, you know, do you have things like an emergency fund and cash set aside? Because when you own a home, there's more likely going to be some unexpected things that come up. But obviously there's some advantages to owning the home as well. I mean, it's yours. You own it. Right. You're probably going to have some more privacy that way. Uh, if you want to make upgrades or updates, you can do that. Um, you know, if, if, uh, if you're in the right situation, you may get some tax benefits out of owning a home as well. Beyond the financial aspects, the second thing you really want to take into consideration is how long are you going to own that home? As a general rule of thumb, we would say here at USAA, if, if you're not going to own the home at least three years, you probably aren't in the position to buy. You do have those costs up front to get into the home. Uh, when you want to sell the home, um, you're going to have cost again there. It takes some time for the home to appreciate. If you uh, try to move out of the home too soon, it, it could cost you some money. When it comes to renting versus buying, what are sort of your final thoughts or words on the process? A good rule of thumb for yourself financially, you really don't want to have debt payments that are more than 36% of your income. Home buying can be a very emotional thing. Uh, we all want a nice home to live in. Don't allow those emotions um, to overtake you know, logic and, and being responsible financially. We also feature a segment here on the nine called Blake's Brainiacs and here to tell us a little bit more about that is meteorologist Katie Blake. You meet some really cool smart kids doing these stories. Oh my gosh. Yes, there are so many stories to tell our students here in San Antonio and across South Texas are doing some awesome things and really what Blake's Brainiacs is. It's all about students and STEM related activities. A lot of this is tied into what's going on in our local schools, uh, but there are some other activities, especially during the summertime that keep kids busy uh, and also learning. So what we do all throughout the year is really highlight different stories, different people, also different groups and activities that provide students a chance to learn and grow all within those STEM and even STEAM related fields, including uh, including art. And I also like to give kiddos some experiments to do at home every now and then. And so here's an example of one of those experiments that you can really do anywhere. It is summertime, and if you've got bored kiddos at home and you want to sprinkle in a little learning this summer, I'm going to bring you some fun at-home science experiments. And I have a helper with me today. This is my friend, Aiden. Aiden's going to be a meteorologist one day very soon, so keep a close eye out. Yeah, he's also going to help me today with this science experiment that is all about density. Density is how much mass a shape has over its given volume. For this experiment, you will need salt, you will need a glass vase or bowl, a spoon, and some eggs. Do you want to drop the egg in there? Aiden, what happened to the egg? The egg sank into the water. So the reason for that was because the egg is more dense than the water. So how can we change the density of water? By putting the salt in. So you may have to add salt and then test, add salt and test, but eventually you will add enough salt that, <gasps> whoa, what happened to our egg? 
It went to the top? Yes, it went to the top because now the salt water is more dense than the egg. Good job, Aiden. This is something you can try at home with your kiddos and try some other objects too. It doesn't just have to be an egg. So have fun this summer learning about density and we'll see you for the next summer science experiment. Hey guys, Jordan Ford makes buying a new car simple and easy, all from your phone. How simple? They can come in or these days even buy the car on their phone with our Jordan Ford Express Shop. And it's waiting for me at the 18 pole? You bet, Ice. You can drive for show and we'll save you dough. Wow, Mark, save money, save time, more time to practice. Look like you don't need that time. Click Express Shop at JordanFord.com. The Gamis Law Firm provides our clients more positive results. I'm so blessed to have come to this law firm. They helped me in my time of need. Had a great experience after a horrible accident. They made everything easy. I'm so happy with this law firm. They always answered my calls and questions. The staff is so nice. Very pleased with the services and outcome of our case. I highly recommend the Joe Gamis Law Firm. Thank you, Gamis Law Firm. Call today for your free consultation, 736-4040. Bank for a call today with a mortgage checking account from Broadway Bank. Together, we are making a difference. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. It's only a short drive from home. Over 3,300 slots, poker and live bingo. I come for the drinks. It's a great place to celebrate. You might hear noise in the background during KSAT News at 9. You want to know why? Our set is right in the middle of the always busy KSAT 12 newsroom. At Descalore, it's a snap to get a desk, to get a desk chair, to get a credenza and hutch, to get a bookcase and file cabinet, and much more. So stop by Descalore Monday through Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m and we'll make office furniture appear in your office in a snap. We're located at 210 Proband. Christus Santa Rosa Health System with the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, celebrating 150 years. The Children's Hospital of San Antonio, offering emergency and pediatric specialty care in Stone Oak. Our children deserve the very best in health care and at a moment's notice. With specially trained pediatric nurses and doctors available 24-7, your children will always have the care they need. With the Children's Hospital of San Antonio Emergency Center in Stone Oak, our children have the care they need where they need it most. I am Tracy Claypack. Jeff and I have been farming for about 38 years. The boys came in to farm with us in 06, and Capital Farm Credit was able to work with us and help us expand our business. My husband and boys are farming land that they have farmed for the last four generations. Capital Farm Credit has been there for us, not only just with the lending and helping us grow, they actually know what farmers need. Our future plans are to continue working with Capital Farm Credit and make our future better. We are the Bobcat Bells. We are a drill team from Hallsville, Texas. I'm the marketing director at the Chick-fil-A in Longview, Texas. Every and Baskin Robbins is launching vegan ice cream. The chain will roll out two new non-dairy flavors in August, chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate extreme. The ice cream is made with coconut oil and almond butter. Baskin Robbins is part of the Duncan Brands Group. Duncan also unveiling this week a new plant-based Beyond Meat sausage sandwich. And that's your Cheddar Business and Tech Update. I'm Tim Stenevec from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. You can watch KSAT News at 9 Monday through Friday, streaming on the KSAT TV app and on KSAT.com. Thanks so much for watching tonight. I'm Myra Arthur. The Night Beat starts right now.